Good morning. Please pardon my appearance. I have not gotten dressed. I need to wash my hair, but we'll get to that later in this video. So I'm going to be doing a henna treatment on my hair today. Um, I just kind of wanted to do something to switch up my hair a little bit. Um, so I got this Supreme Henna Powder Blend from Henna Souk. My former coworker who is Indian, she recommended this company to me. And I think Natural 85 also uses the same company. So I have the Henna Blend and then I also have some Cassia Blend because, um, so they have a chart on the website that tells you like what you should blend depending on what kind of color you're going for. So they recommended a Henna and Cassia Blend. And then I also got some Aloe Vera Powder because Henna can be a little bit drying on the hair. Actually, it can be a lot drying um, if you're not careful. So this is to help with a bit more hydration so it doesn't dry me out as much. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and mix the Henna because it takes a while for the color to kind of develop. So I have to let this sit for like four hours. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix the henna right now. And then later on, I'll show you guys how I apply it to my hair and all of that. So I've mixed the henna. Um, as you saw, I did use some apple cider vinegar because I think using something a little bit acidic kind of helps with the color release. But mostly I use water and it's just kind of a thick paste. So I'm going to let this sit for like four hours um, until I feel like the color has released. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. And once I feel like the color is ready, then I'm going to actually wash my hair and then I'm going to apply the henna because you are supposed to apply it onto clean hair. And my hair has been in braids for the past six weeks, so it is not clean. All right, so my henna has been dye releasing for like four and a half hours now. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. It still looks green. It doesn't look like a red color. But if you look at, let me see, like the edge of the bowl, like here, you can kind of see that there's like a red stain like there. So I feel like it's probably good enough. So, and also if I stir it, I can see that there's kind of like a more reddish film like at the top where the air is hitting the air. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair. So this is what we're looking like right now. So this is just my hair. There's nothing on it um it's like you know just this like sandy brown color and i'll show you guys what it looks like at the end it might be tomorrow because the color isn't going to show up properly until my hair is dry so we'll see if i end up sitting under the dryer today or not but it'll either be like way later today or it'll be tomorrow so right now i'm about to get in the shower i'm going to wash my hair with this live clean shampoo um and i have a conditioner too but i'm just going to shampoo for right now not going to show you guys that because y'all have seen me wash my hair multiple times. But when I get out, I will show you me applying the henna. So I'm out of the shower. My hair is clean now. Um, I have my gloves on because this will stain your hands. You've probably seen like pictures, videos of like the henna, like tattoos, same henna. Um, and then I'm about to put some petroleum jelly on my edges just to kind of keep it um can't see in the camera so try to keep it off of my hairline as much as possible i don't really care so much about the back but definitely the front i do not want it to stain so just well i'll still put some in the back because why not and they actually recommend you do this like in the instructions like i'm not just doing this because i feel like it 
same idea as like if you were getting like a relaxer or something you know they give you that like project protective gel but yeah so i've got it on my hairline i've got it on my ears and now we begin so i'm going to start in the back just kind of section off a row And I have a towel down on the floor that way in case I make a mess. Um, and then just make sure that whatever clothes you wear are not like good clothes that you really like care too much about. Um, and definitely, I would say definitely don't wear anything white because, but yeah. So I'm just going to put a pretty thick layer of this on. You know what I should have put a towel around my shoulders that's what I was gonna do all right cool so um I would say that's probably a good amount So I'm done, I've applied it. You can see it's pretty thick on my hair. I've just clipped my hair up. Still made a mess everywhere, which is unfortunate. Um, this is how much I have left. I feel like I only use like half of what I mixed. I still have hella left. So I'm definitely gonna try to put this in like a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer so I can use it another time. Um, but right now I'm just gonna put on a plastic cap clean myself up and then I'm gonna let this sit for like four hours maybe longer we'll see what I feel like doing um they say three to four hours but you know longer is always gonna give you more color so that's what we're gonna do I'll see you guys back when I am done All right, it is now 6.30 p.m. It's been about four hours since I put this henna on. I'm about to go ahead and take it off because it's starting to leak everywhere and I just don't have time for that. All right, guys, I'm out of the shower. So it's really hard to see on camera, but you can kind of see that there's a bit more of a reddish tint to my hair. I'll try to insert the picture that I took before so you can see the like before and after. I think it will show up a little bit more once my hair is dry right now. It's wet. I haven't done anything. But yeah, so this is what we have. Um, it looks pretty much similar to when I've put henna on my hair before. I am now going to deep condition, but to use this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. So henna is drying on the hair, and I've already conditioned with a regular conditioner while I was detangling in the shower, but because it's so drying and because my hair just came out of braids, I need more. So I'm about to use this, and then I'm going to let that sit for a while, 
style my hair and then I'll show y'all the final final result. All right guys, so it is the next day. I had no energy yesterday, so I did not finish styling my hair. Um, and then I wanted to wait for it to dry before I showed you guys. But um, I just did a basic wash and go, nothing crazy. But um, this is what it's looking like. Um, you can see the reddish brown like tint in the top. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, henna is not really gonna give you a super intense color. Um, I could have gotten a more intense color depending on which kind of henna I used and like whatever, whatever else. I'm not gonna go into that. But yeah, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, I also did some actual hair color on a couple of my wigs that I just got. So stay tuned for that video if it's not already up. But in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye.